Okay, that's fine. Um, I'll get that sorted and I'll get those papers into court for you and we'll get that sorted out for you. Thanks very much for calling. Goodbye. So Stuart, tell us a little about your role in Rennie McInnes. Yeah, thanks Cameron. Um, my name's Stuart Rennie and I am a partner in Rennie McInnes. We are a local firm of solicitors based in Mogai. Um, there are three people in the business, three lawyers in the business, and we are assisted by two paralegals. Um, the business was started about 12 years ago um, and consists of me, Aileen McInnes, who does private client work and Lucinda Hunter who is an accredited specialist in employment law. The business is a commercial legal firm and we try and help small business owners build up their businesses um, so that they, they can then sell them on profitably and when they've done that we also help them buy new houses or holiday homes or um, student flats for their children um, to try and Spend this money. We call it the earn it, spend it matrix. So Stuart, tell us a little about your day-to-day -day job. Well, I do um, corporate and commercial work. So my job is mainly helping uh, businesses um, if they want to buy a property or rent a new shop or if they are selling their business um, or if they are in dispute with somebody, then they come to me and I try and help them with their problems. Um, the work can be varied from um, dealing with very large companies to dealing with small individual trainer, trainers. So Stuart, what part of your role do you enjoy most? I think I enjoy getting an insight into how people run their businesses, normally at quite a high level. When in my job, you're dealing with the owners and managers of businesses and you get to see what makes them successful. Um, you... Get, you're not dealing with just one type of business or one problem every day. Every day there's a new opportunities and new um, businesses that need your help. For example, we've helped um, a business that makes fishing nets that is based in Ayrshire, is very successful. I've helped recently a, a business that designs boats and sells them all over the world and it's based in Dunoon. One of the most um, exciting transactions I was involved in recently was the sale of this film studio where they make Outlander and um, we had to deal with the com a film company in Hollywood that bought that studio. Um, I didn't unfortunately get to meet either Sam Hugan or Katrina Balfe but um, it was quite an interesting uh, example of how you deal with all types of businesses when you're a lawyer. So sure, what qualifications do you uh, need to have and do you need to study law? Um, I've checked the. it's been a long time since I was at university, but you need, to be a lawyer you need to go to university in Scotland that offers a Scots law course. Um, the basic entrance requirements are five A's or a minimum of four A's and one B at the first sitting of hires. Um, there are um, reduced entry level requirements for um, people from more economically deprived backgrounds, but you're still having to look at 1A and 3B, so it is quite academically demanding. Um, also, some universities like Glasgow University ask that you sit at the LNAT, which is a national law exam um, as a preliminary to testing whether you would be suitable for undergraduate law study. Um, once you're there, um, it's good fun because going to university is always quite, is always good fun and, and exciting and challenging. Um, you study for either three years for an ordinary degree or four years for an honours degree. And after that, you do a one-year diploma in professional legal practice. Um, finally, after you've done your five years at university, you do a two-year traineeship, which is with uh, a law firm or a local authority. Um, and at the end of that, you become fully qualified and you become a solicitor and a member of the Law Society of Scotland. Or alternatively, you can become an advocate if you want to just practice exclusively in court, particularly in the courts in Edinburgh. So it really takes you about seven years from the time leaving school to becoming fully qualified and it is quite academically demanding. Okay, sure. What other jobs are there in a law firm? Well, Cameron, thanks. There are quite a lot of uh, jobs.
jobs available in law firms because they are very large commercial enterprises, so they require accountants, they require um, bookkeepers and credit control people, they require marketing officers and IT specialists, all to keep the, the show on the road, to, to make sure the lawyers can fulfil their clients' um, requests to the best of their ability. Uh, in particular, there is, um, if you're interested in studying law, um, but don't think you'll get the qualifications to become a lawyer, you can become a paralegal, which is a specialist role in dealing quite often with conveyancing transactions, buying and selling houses, or debt recovery, um, where you work in, a law, work in a law office doing legal work. Um, the route into that is either via private study or getting a job in a legal firm and they then can train you up to become a paralegal and that is very much on a sort of case by case basis but the, the, the Law Society have an accredited paralegal scheme which is a useful thing to, to check out and I'll check out the Law Society for anybody who's interested in becoming a lawyer one of the first ports of call should be the Law Society of Scotland website. Okay Stuart, how much does a lawyer earn? Oh the big, the $64,000 question. Um, Lawyers can make a lot of money. Um, it's a demanding job and um, it's quite intellectually hard to do sometimes. So th th there is, a, there is um, a requirement to pay people well to do it. Um, a traineeship salary, once you come out of university, you start on £19,500 the first year, rising to £22,500 in your second year. But once you're qualified, you can make um, more money. Um, there is some in some very large firms, um, some people who are three, three years qualified, um, so about 10 years out of school, they can earn up to £60,000 a year. Um, I think, to be fair, that in those very large firms, you have to work hard for that sort of money. Um, 45 to 50 hours a week, uh, regular weeks, is, is the norm there, so they definitely get their pound of flesh. The average salary for all solicitors in Scotland is just over £42,000. But there can be a wide range um, of uh, salary figures in that. I think probably as well as the money, because it's all obviously important, it, law is an interesting job. If you're interested in people and their problems, then that would be the first thing I think you would be interested to, to find law a fulfilling career. You also have to be good at English because as you can see possibly from here, it always involves reading a lot of documents and um, amending documents. So you need to be able to, to understand English well. But um, I've enjoyed being a lawyer because I've enjoyed helping people and getting an insight into their business and I would recommend it as a career for anyone. So Aileen, Shirts told us a lot about Rennie McInnes. Could you tell us what your role was? Yes, of course. Um, well, I deal with private client work, buying and selling houses, wills, executories, powers of attorney, and I also carry out the cash room function within the office where I look after all the money, which is obviously a very important role because it's other people's money which you should never forget and you have to look after it very carefully so that you comply with the law for principles. So Aileen, what do you enjoy most about your role? I think what I enjoy most about my role is um, the variety of it. You know, no day is ever the same. You come in in the morning, write down five things you're going to do. And if you said to go home and you've maybe done one of them, you've got another ten things on your list. So no day is ever the same. I also like dealing with individual people and meeting people and hearing a bit about their life and what they do and how I can help them with that. So Aileen, now more than ever there are women getting to, into law. What advice would you give to women pursuing law? Well, when I became a solicitor over 30 years ago, it was relatively unusual to see women in the, in the partnership roles or in the, the, the promoted roles in firms. But now that's gone, which is great, and law is caught up with the rest of the world in giving equal opportunities to everyone. My advice would be if you want to be a solicitor, don't let the fact that you're a woman stand in your way, because I, think, I genuinely believe now it's not a factor in stopping people going as far as they want to go. Um, when I went part time after I had my children, when I came up a few years before they went to school, I was the first person in the, my then firm who had ever done that, and it was a big hoo-ha-hoo. -hoo. But, but now that's not the case. There's lots of opportunities, particularly as we're coming out of this pandemic, for more flexible working patterns if that's what we want.